हेलो वेलकम टू द प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस ऑफ डीजल जनरेटर कॉम्प्रहेंसिव कोर्स पार्ट वन माय नेम इज़ अल्पेश पोपट एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड मेंटेनेंस स्ट्रेटजी फॉर द डीजल जनरेटर सेट दिस एंटायर कॉम्प्रहेंसिव कोर्स वी हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू द फोर सेक्शन part 1 is which we are going to discuss which is introduction and maintenance strategy part 2 in which we will discuss detailed procedures for preventive maintenance of diesel engine and alternator and other peripheral device like uh, batteries amf panels control wirings etc part 3 is very important in which we will discuss about the troubleshooting techniques what are the critical alarms are there in today's diesel generator sets what are the protection and faults and what action we have to take to <coughs> uh, restore the dg in the normal condition so this will be covered in part 3 part 4 we will discuss about the basic electrical control circuits we will <coughs> uh, discuss about the control wiring of uh, the generator control unit uh, we will also discuss the standard controller microprocessor based controller which is being used by the well known diesel generator set company like uh, uh, mahindra and mahindra kirloskar supernova sudhir gensets etc so if you would like to uh, you know take an entire overview of end to end preventive maintenance strategy for the diesel generator sets then it is mandatory that all this part 1 to part 4 uh, to be <coughs> taken into detail so i think uh, it will be very helpful to understand the uh, subject from more detail point of view as well as it will give you the entire insight of the diesel engine and alternators and its peripheral device why preventive maintenance why we are discussing this topic so if you see in here that basic three benefits is there uh first one is that we are going to get power availability 100% basically in india diesel generator is used as a standby application like in telecom or in hospitals or in commercial buildings the primary source of energy is a grid supply but reliability and availability of grid is a challenge in different pockets of the country especially in india and that's why for the critical services it is mandatory to have a standby power availability which is nothing but a diesel generator set so dc set is there for the most critical application which provides us a power in the most needy time and that's why dg uptime has to be 100% availability of the diesel generator set should be 100% because it's a it is being used for the critical application <coughs> second one is if you see here like optimize operational <coughs> and fuel cost if we do and follow the proper maintenance schedule which is been designed and laid down by the oem then definitely we will never get into the troubles <coughs> and unwanted cost of the repairs and making the dg ready for operations so that is why operational uh, and fuel cost is very much depending on the compliance of the entire maintenance strategy and their sla which has been given so that's the main important part here that if we will skip the maintenance and we will not do the maintenance as per the requirement and definitely there will be a more wear and tear of the parts and during the critical application of the dg uh, we face the breakdown and 
in the event of any emergency cost is incurred is always on the higher side so that's why uh, to maintain the cost at the bare minimum level uh, compliance of the maintenance procedures in time is very much essential and last one is the free from unwanted breakdown like if we are maintaining our dg set definitely we will always get an alarm but never uh, unwanted tripping so benefits of timely uh, and qualitative preventive maintenance is availability of power optimized cost and 100% trouble free services without breakdown here we see that what is our maintenance strategy so on the left hand side if you see here like first one is the water system service when we frame out the maintenance strategy like what we are going to do a maintenance in the dg set so these are the primary maintenance services what we have mentioned here that's a fundamental maintenance service like water system service then oil system service third one is the fuel system service fourth is the air system service fifth one is the electrical system service and the sixth last one is the exhaust system service so this is the area of the entire dg set so if we do the preventive maintenance routine maintenance checks and balances of all these six different section then our maintenance is covered 100% so to simplify and to go into the standard terms there is we call it if you see in the right side a check b check c check and d check so we'll go in detail also in the subsequent module that what we do so like every uh, portion of the dg set like a water system so water system service also has a a b c d check like oil system also has a a b c d check likewise every section has to go through this a b c d check and once we complete the a b c d check that means we are taking care of our diesel generator set as per the our maintenance program here we can see the a b c d check of the diesel generator first section is a a check a check means the daily routine checkup of the dg set like dg is installed at different different locations this location could be a manned location and could be a unmanned location also like offshore sites telecom sites where majority of the sites are without any main power so there few checks are not on daily basis but it is recommended that wherever we are keeping a dg as a standby application for the critical services following checks are mandatory on daily basis like in a data centers in a big facilities in the hospitals etc so first one is a a check in which we will see the q and q like quality and quantity checks of u oil so oil level we have to check like same case is applicable when we use our four wheelers or two wheelers basic things are available on the dashboard as soon as we put an ignition key we have the oil indicator fuel indicator uh, temperature indicator as well as the what is the status of the battery in the recent uh, uh, technology we see all these very much you know easily on the front dashboard of any good vehicles okay so this is the basic checks so when we install a dg set in our premises in a check on daily basis we have to maintain a register and we have to maintain the basic reading of this uh, uh, fundamental parameter called oil fuel water and battery then we have to also monitor the, what is a terminal voltage of the battery and specific gravity also because we are using a lead acid battery so definitely we have to ensure that specific gravity also should be maintained and <coughs> we need to clean the entire engine area battery area amf section and all this and it should be free from any leakage fuel oil etc so this is a a check 
similarly there is a b check which is happening at every 250 hours or maybe a 6 months whichever is earlier in this b check <coughs> we have to do a a check also additionally there is a replacement and top up of the oil inside the oil chamber water coolant inside the uh, uh, cooling case what we have maintained in the dg set and then we have to check the quality of the filters and wherever required we need to replace the oil filter uh, fuel filters air filters and also we have to examine the v belt so these are the basic checks which is normally uh, carried out at every 250 hours of the operation of the dg set or 6 month whichever is earlier then next one is the c check in this c check it is uh, normally a yearly annual check in which a and b is anyway carried out and other than this uh, we take the radiator out from the dg set and we take it on the external automobile workshop for the force uh, of uh, jet cleaning through the force water so that fins can be completely clean and any other impurities are there inside there and any jam is there any choking is there that everything can be removed through the force jet cleaning so external cleaning is very much essential on annual basis so at least uh, cooling system remains always healthy and cooling system is a very primary system for the dg health if cooling is is a prop, sufficiently cooling uh, is cool, uh, is cooling the oil uh, of the dg set then efficiency on of the dg is is, is very much as per the requirement uh, third one is the exhaust system and fourth one is a emission so all these checks are happens at annual basis last one is a d check which is roughly at 4000 hours completion of the dg or 2 years whichever is earlier in which we will do a b c which we have already discussed and apart from that other detailed check has been taking uh, taking place in this uh, checks like a fuel tank cleaning so fuel is always having some impurities suspended particles and some adulterations also so it is very much required that fuel tank has to be drawn out once and it has to be properly clean and once in a 2 years then next one is the air compressor maintenance there is a turbocharger and air compressor both has to be done a maintenance there is a fuel injection pump which we call is a fip that maintenance and its calibration is also mandatory at every 2 years which will give us a proper fuel efficiency and all other uh, belts are there like there is a belt in the radiator system in the charging alternator system all these belts and hoses and everything is completely getting replaced during a d check so this is the entire maintenance strategy which we have to follow for the healthy dg and economic dg running now we will discuss about the snapshot that what we are going to learn in a subsequent uh, modules so we will just discuss uh, shortly that what is the engine checks so there are a b c d checks of the dg set in which engines there are in which fuel and uh, we will see the level and quality oil water then fan belt radiator fuel line oil line air line expansion bellow exhaust fuel tank and canopy so these are the checks we normally uh, do in the engines and we will discuss in detail that what checks are required when we do the preventive maintenance of let's say radiator or fuel service oil service air service etc next one is the electrical so in the electrical side we will discuss the overall alternator power connection then power connection in the auto mains failure amf panel then control wiring connection earthing connection then there is a controller every intelligent dg set is now fitted with this controller uh, microprocessor based controller which is having rs485 connectivity also so you can monitor all this parameter remotely 
so this controller normally we call it a ecu or gcu which is a generator control unit and basically this is a heart of the entire uh, dg set because it monitors all parameters of engine alternator electrical and other peripherals and it also uh, takes care of all alarms and protections so here we will discuss about the parameter visibility in display like oil water fuel level voltage current frequency rpm kilowatt kva kvar dg battery voltage rs485 connections which is a remote monitoring then in the amf side we will discuss about the control relays then what is a on off push buttons emergency stops indication lamps battery chargers charging alternators self starters and dg batteries so these are the portion will be covered in the electrical sections then operational checks like an automation checks we will perform the automation that how we have to ensure that dg is in auto condition auto on and auto off as per set parameters cranking noise no load run vibration no load parameter testing like voltage current uh, frequency rpm charging voltage oil pressure water temperature etc then load test exhaust waste management also alarm simulation is a very important because every time you know uh, this uh, alarm is is a is a basic things which gives us an early indication so we need to simulate that whether this alarm system is healthy or not so simulation is very much important so we can simulate the common fault then low fuel level analog alarm checks rs485 healthiness alarm reflection in nog nog like network operating center so we are taking all alarm and it is extended to the server and from server we can monitor it to the our central nog there are two different channels of the alarm one is the digital channel other one is a analog channel so we have to simulate both type of alarm so at least we are double sure that any single alarm will come from the two different sources so at least we can have a double assurance and 100% availability of the alarm emergency stops dg in manual mode dg idle running and then wrap up in which <coughs> we will discuss about the tools and techniques and other documentation work so this is what our entire uh, uh, program of the section 1 this is a brief summary i have discussed here that this is how entire program of uh, preventive maintenance of dg set is designed now in the next section we will go in detail uh, that how preventive maintenance is taking care critical area of diesel generator set is engine alternator amf panel and dg batteries thank you so if you enjoying this then definitely i request that just go through the part 2 and then subsequently part 3 and 4 which is very much important if you are interested to cover entire pm strategy for the dg thank you